So I've tested these out for a while now every day. Uh, right off the bat, these are awesome controllers. Not just awesome controllers for the price, but awesome controllers in general. Uh, of course, these are fight pads, so they are designed for fighting games. Uh, if you are used to a traditional four button layout controller like the Xbox one here, it's going to take some time and some adjustment on your part to get used to it. Uh, but once you do, they are totally worth the money. Now the question is, which one of these is right for you? Well, let's find out. The PlayStation version comes in black. And I think it's the nicer looking of the two. And it works on PS4, PS3, and PC. All you better do is switch the slider here to whatever system that you want to use it on. Uh, same thing with the Xbox version. Okay, so Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. I wish that they both come in black, to be honest with you, because the white version tends to get a little dirty and requires a lot more cleaning. And these things are pretty much plug and play, uh, especially the Xbox version. Just plug in and then off you go. Uh, the, PlayStation, the PlayStation version is also plug and play, but some games you may want to switch, for example on Steam, you may want to switch the profile to the PlayStation controller or else the games won't recognize it. But that's simple enough to do. For the price, um, these are surprisingly well built. The plastic is made of a very sturdy type of plastic, very strong. Very similar to um, the official Xbox controller plastic. You know, it's actually very thick plastic, so very sturdy. You know, can't really flex it too much. So, yeah, even though these are relatively cheap, they are surprisingly well built. One more thing I want to mention is um, the weight. These are light uh, because they don't have rumbles or all the extra stuff and I love that fact that they are light. Over long sessions your hands, your wrists tend to get tired but these uh, make it a little more comfortable for you to use uh, over long periods of time. And of course these are wired controllers. Let's see the cables here are really long and thick and high quality so with the Xbox you get this traditional 360 uh, USB plug here with dot and then you got a little breakaway cable here so if someone trips over it you know you don't ruin your PC or laptop so I like that on the PlayStation version, uh, same cable, but you just get a regular USB and no breakaway. Yeah, so since these are wired, you don't have to worry about charging the darn thing, and you don't have to worry about disconnections and interference and all the stuff that comes with wireless controllers. Just plug in and play, and it's worry free. Although, you know. The wires tend to kind of drag, but you'll get used to it. These controllers have a six button layout. They're designed for Street Fighter primarily, or any fighting game that uses six buttons. So there are no joysticks on these bad boys at all. You do get a slider here, you know, this one uh, you can set it to D pad, left stick, or right stick as necessary. Okay. And then on the same thing on the Xbox One, D-pad, the Xbox One only had the left stick. But honestly, I just leave it on the E-pad and call it a day. The main differentiating feature between the two versions here 
is the PlayStation version has a turbo mode and then on the Xbox version you have the assigned button so pretty much you can remap any button to whatever button you want so with the turbo mode on uh, pretty much you can set it to any button and you press and hold it for example it'll just repeatedly tap it really quickly in succession um, so this is gonna really help with Korean backdash and I feel like it's almost cheating to be honest with you uh, to, to, to do this I mean I, I give it a shot it's cool but I mean it's it's just not humanly possible to do backdash that fast so I mean it's fun to try out but honestly it's I feel like it's just a gimmick whereas the reassign remap feature is truly useful if you are so used to certain buttons being at certain place you you can do that just on the controller itself um, even if the game doesn't support it you can remap it to however you want so for example in dead or alive i remap these two buttons to the thumbstick buttons right so this will be the left thumbstick and this is the right thumbstick uh, in DOA in practice mode you press the left thumbstick in combination with whatever other button to do shortcuts so this makes it a lot easier for me to do whereas on the PlayStation there's a slider over here for you to set it to the thumbstick buttons here so essentially if you slide it over these two buttons will become the thumbsticks buttons and these two buttons will become the left shoulder buttons and these are the right shoulder buttons uh, I don't know about you but I'm not about to relearn how I play so I much would rather have this feature where you know I can set it to however I want and the turbo mode honestly is just a gimmick it's, it's a throwaway for me I don't really need it so the button layouts are uh, pretty much about what you expect you know the d-pad here face buttons and then the shoulder buttons here let's start with the d-pad I feel like any good fight pad has to have a good d-pad and fortunately these are great um, but the PlayStation version or at least just my controller out of the box this is a lot stiffer than my Xbox version this is great it's, it's light and it's very responsive this is also responsive but it's kind of harder to press it's pretty stiff I have weird long skinny thumbs right so if I rest naturally on the controller my thumb it's just a little too long as you can see right I mean I can move it back but then that means I have to reposition my hand to the center here all right so it makes it really hard for me to at least in the beginning to press down back if only this is just I mean to the right and up a few centimeters that would be perfect let me show you an example uh, on the Xbox controller you see how my thumb my left thumb it just rests perfectly on it you see that just perfect right I can go all kinds of directions but on these it's a little to the left right just a few centimeters and it makes a difference uh, with that being said though I got used to it another quirk of this controller is the d-pad is big all right compared to the Xbox one this is quite a bit bigger okay so because it's bigger I have a lot of trouble pressing really any diagonal directions at first so for example I want to do down forward right I will press the edge of the forward here when I what when I really want to do is press both buttons right so I would just do this Okay, do this and then I would miss the down button here 
So what you want to do is just make sure that you have your thumb on both buttons. Okay, you gotta really like kind of make sure that you get both. And the reason I feel like that I'm making a lot of those mistakes is because the Xbox controller, look at this, see, it's, it's a lot smaller. So my skinny thumb hits both a lot easier. See that? It's just a lot easier to hit the corners of both, right? And these D-pads are a lot bigger and longer in each direction. When I just press it, I tend to just miss the other button, right? So you gotta kind of put your finger in it, right? But um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're great D-pads. You just need to get used to them. They're, they're, they're bigger than normal. One more thing about the D-pad, especially the Xbox version, is these D-pads are comfortable, like, over long hours of gaming my thumb doesn't hurt as much as let's say on the xbox controller see these are i mean these are great d-pads but they tend to hurt my thumb a lot because the material itself i think this is like metal so my thumb becomes really sore and the material on the d-pad here it's, it's softer right i mean it's still responsive but it hurts my thumb a lot less right the d-pad's really comfortable to use over long periods of time all right let's move on to the face buttons here just like the d-pad the face buttons are larger than your normal typical controller so compare that to the xbox controller here as you can see these are almost twice the size almost um, i like them though these buttons they're very responsive and clicky and easy to use um, you can use it this way right or this way um, yeah they're great I, I i love the fact that these are big right they they give you this rk cabinet vibe to them of course the buttons are not as big but a lot bigger than your typical controller all right so another quirk that you're gonna have to get used to is because of the six button layout so your four regular face buttons as you can see they're not lined up okay check this out see how these are perfectly a line and they're in a diamond shape so a is directly below y b is directly to the right of x but these due to the six button layout they are offset so so y here is a little to the right of a and b is a little lower to x so at first when i first started using this controller I want to hit A, but I end up just hitting B, right? And then vice versa, if I want to hit B, I accidentally hit Y. But then again, after I would say a few days, you, your muscle memory will just take over and then you'll get used to it. You know, it, it just becomes the second nature, but in the beginning, it's kind of jarring. Alrighty, let's talk about the shoulder buttons. These two is great, okay. Just just like the face buttons, they're very clicky and responsive. But there's a big butt here for me, and I do not like this at all. You see, there's a huge gap here, like my finger can fit on it. So I don't know how you guys hold your controller, but I hold it like this, right? So I rest my index fingers on the triggers here. Now, this makes it really difficult for me to hit the right or left bumper, right? So, so my hand, like, have to, like, do acrobatics <laughs> to hit this button. You see how far it is? There's a big old gap here. Why can't they make it closer? This is the only thing that I really do not like about these controllers. I mean, again, I got used to them but it took me a long time, okay? 
um, just just make it a little closer just like a few centimeters okay and then it'll be perfect all right check this out okay check this out so trigger and then if I want to hit the bumpers here bam bam okay there's not much movement here okay but with these it's it's like you gotta you know you gotta move your finger in a really awkward position I mean I got used to them so it's not a problem anymore for me but at first let me tell you this is one of the things I hated about these controllers so hopefully the next version they'll kind of make them a little closer okay my final verdict which one of these should you get honestly I mean without question the Xbox version and the main reason for um, for my preference for the Xbox version is because of the assign or remap feature here um, I feel like the controller should adjust to how you play the game as opposed to the other way around uh, so with this you, you can set it to your preference okay um, and the PS controller I mean it is what it is there's no built-in assign button but most games do allow you to reassign buttons so it's not a big deal but for me especially with Dead or Alive uh, and the practice mode I, I have to use the right and left thumbstick buttons so having the reassign feature is godsend for me uh, furthermore the d-pad is just a lot more comfortable on this version than the PlayStation version okay yeah and I really don't care about the turbo mode at all uh, I think it's cool uh, it's fun to play in single-player games maybe where maybe you're playing like a side-scrolling shooter and you don't want to you know keep on tapping the shoot button so you just assign it and just press and hold so that's cool but for fighting games and if you're gaming on PC get this version first of all it's a lot more compatible with all the games whereas this one some games don't recognize it uh, at least on Steam until you set it to the PlayStation profile which is not a big deal but this this is just easier to use I feel that the d-pad is more comfortable and I love that you can reassign buttons here so out of the two I mean they're both great okay don't get me wrong I think they're awesome but this one I just wish it was black okay that's it for me if you find this helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more later Thank you.